Well, yes, in case you haven't noticed, I am insane. And yes, I am wearing a carrot. I am a giant, giant carrot, and it is severely hot in here. And in the, yes, it is still summer. Oh my god, it is hot in this fucking thing. Yes. But, in case you, well, you can't really notice because there's nothing here. We have a different poster, and thank god, because I keep using the other ones for way too long. And we are going to go over expendables. Yeah, so, yeah. So how do you know that? You don't know that. I'm wearing a fucking carrot. You don't know that. I'm just crazy. But yes, in case you haven't noticed, yes, there was, there is and was a third expendables. Here's where it gets fun. Stallone actually didn't direct uh, this one. He uh, he did, however, write, produce, star, and he probably catered the goddamn thing. But Patrick Hughes did. In case you guys don't know who he is, don't worry. Uh, he has done The Raid. If you are big uh, Asylum fans, you definitely know that one. And uh, Red Hill. Now, so if that doesn't really get you or convince you, eh, that's okay. I'm there. I get it. Sometimes I don't even know about these films. Sharknado? That was an asylum film that nobody understood or nobody even knew about until it, it hit sci-fi. Then it went fucking national. Yeah. National. TBS and TNT are probably are trying to get rights to it to, to show it on their networks. Because they're stupid. But stupid is stupid does and it, and it makes money. So why not do Expendables 3? But look, just because he's only done independent films or shorts doesn't mean he's going to suck. Well, at least not completely. When you have box office powerhouses like you do, in this, like, expect expect something awesome to happen. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, this really didn't disappoint. Because, honestly, it's all, and unfortunately, some of these guys, some of these actors are a little older and tend to take away from the magic that they used to have. I mean, I know when, uh, when I was a kid, I can't believe I just said that, and I can't believe you wrote that in the script, you douchebags. Uh, yes. So, uh, in back in my day, they were actually pretty kick-ass. They were, they were actually, like, I was born in the 90s, so they were still, like, a, they were, like, they weren't teetering, but they were there. It, it, you know, it, you saw it. It wasn't, like, completely there, but you saw it, and it was, it, you know, it was interesting. But, I mean, look at all of them, except probably the new recruits. All of them are pretty much over 50 years old, and unfortunately, we, the audience, can see that. We can tell that they're, stunt, that they're obviously stunt doubles. They're a little bit... Uh, more tone, more, more, more buff. Uh, if, if you were, and you know, it, we, we know it's being faked, but you know, on the other hand, these guys can still kick some ass. I mean, the, 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 the fight scenes alone with them actually fighting, that you can see them doing, is actually pretty sweet. Stallone, Ford, Schwarzenegger, Gibson, Lundgren. I mean, then you got the middle-aged crowd. You know, Jason Statham, Wesley Snipes, Randy Couture, Terry Crews, Antonio Banderas. I mean. I could go on and on with this crowd, and you really could. And they really did a good job of trying not to kill themselves during the production of this film. You know, you gotta give, give credit where credit is due, man. I mean, it, it's actually an awesome movie. You know, it's it's with explosions and kickassery. I mean, you can't go wrong. And I do have to say this is probably one of the better parts of this franchise. Uh, the writing was a tad better. Uh, the thing about this story is that I'm not sure... Uh, you all, I don't know if you all seen this, but it needs to be way better developed. I mean, if you've watched this from the beginning like I have and a couple of my friends have, this store, this franchise needs to be, like, rebooted. Not, it doesn't have, don't, whoa, calm down, calm down, you, whoa, calm down. It doesn't need to be rebooted, but it needs to be retold because the stories that they're giving you, they're giving you way too much history with, with Barney and the other characters, the other Expendables that we don't know about. It's kind of like the the Avengers where like personally we didn't care about it, but you know, fans want certain things done before we actually see it. Sometimes it's actually done well. There are some movies and some shows that actually do it really well where they'll give you future stuff and then they'll tell you in a future flashback p past episode. Uh, it's kind of sometimes some of sometimes like I'm saying, sometimes it's done well. So I don't know where they're going with this, but the way that the Expendables has gone, it's it's kind of shitty the way that they're doing it because 
we know nothing about Mel Gibson's character uh, until this movie, until like this, like like the, pretty much the first second scene, you know, and it's kind of annoying, you know, because we want to know we know that Mel Gibson's in it. We just want to know who he plays and why he plays him and why it's going towards that. Um, unfortunately, like I said, we don't know anything. Uh, you know, we we end up do finding out who he is and what he does and who, why he's going after these guys. It, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's 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 pretty cool. But like I said, this because it's a it's historical to the characters in Expendables. It needs to be told before it. Like in the first one, maybe you should have mentioned something about uh, past Expendables, or or you know just mention a name. You know, you know bring in character like. They do it all the time in Marvel movies. They mention something in b before, and then they go for it. Like, let's say Avengers. They, like I keep doing, they they brought, in, they did certain the movies, they did, God, it's so fucking hot in this thing. They did, you know, individual movies for certain characters. Uh, unfortunately, Hawkeye and Black Widow did not get one, which is where I'm getting at uh, in the past statement. And they took it on to... Uh, they, they gave you information to their history that we don't know about. And it's annoying because we need to know about it and we don't know. Unless you've probably read the comics, which probably didn't even show you that either. It's kind of annoying. And it's the same plot. It's the same thing here. We need to know more. It has to be better developed. I mean, it pisses me off at the fact that, you know, you actually have fun and great concept to work with. You know, you have a group of military and forced mercenaries. You know, they get pulled into business to take on, to take on government bad guys. I mean... It, I like this. I like this plan. I'm glad to be a part of it. Ghostbusters. You know, it, it actually helps out. It's actually kind of cool that they did it. Now, I also have to say that the newbies stole the show. Personally, in my opinion, that I uh, you'll I per I think you'll love Antonio Banderas' character as well as Wesley Snipes because those two are hilarious in this film. Where on when they're on screen, I mean, not to mention you might fall in love with Miss Ronda Rousey, who can probably clearly and probably could snap you like a fucking twig but you know i digress it's actually funnier than you expect so don't worry about that um y you know considering the two characters i mentioned before i mean they keep it going uh y you know you li I, I would like to see some of these guys come back especially rousey and uh and to uh ben Darris and snipes which is really cool to watch and uh, again you need to Snipes is another expendable character where I need to know more about because he was a past expendable, which is kind of cool. You know, it, it's kind of confusing that they add Gibson's villain to the mix and you know nothing about it. But look, honestly, when it comes down to it, I'm only recommending I'm only recommending this if you like the franchise, love the franchise, or even love these guys. You know, I I'm you know I'm 25 years old. I still love watching these guys kick ass and taking names. Uh, they're they're really cool, and I love the the chemistry between some of these guys. They're actually really fun to watch. Still, some you know they could up the ante with trying to give Stallone and some of those guys who can you know not not talk you know so much because they're like. Duh, 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 duh. You know, it's it's like it's bad. It's it's really hard to understand some of these guys, especially Stallone. Um, a little too many beats to the face, I guess, in Rocky. But yes, I digress. Make sure you guys should like subscribe to this channel. Do it. Don't do it for the vine. Do it for the fucking carrot ones, eh? Carrot ones, eh? Carrot carrot ones, eh? Carrot ones, eh? Carrot carrot ones, eh? Carrot ones, eh? Carrot carrot ones, eh? Carrot ones, eh? Carrot, carrot ones, eh? Yes, so I'm just going to stop there because I'm going to be insane later. Uh, yes, do it for the carrot onesie, though. Make sure you give it a big like, a big awesome thumbs up uh, at the end of this video. Make sure you guys stay tubed because we're going to go into the storm. What? We're going to a storm? Oh, that's the movie. Okay, see, that's why I don't like you guys writing my shit because I come up with stuff that actually works with it. So, yeah. I'm watching you, buddy. All right, so, but yes, yeah, stay, please stay tuned for the next adventure because we're going into the storm. Stay tuned.